Welcome back. So what's the minimum thing that I want when I'm looking at this? What's the absolute minimum requirements that I want to display on the screen right now? That's what I have to consider when I make this read, when I kind of start considering my data structure right here. What's, so at least what I need to see is the image, right? I need to see the image that I just loaded here instead of this. I don't care about the name right now. So I want to see the image and a display name. That's all I need for now, right? To kind of show this beautiful file right here. Now, that means that I'm going to structure my data a bit differently because that's a choice I made. So I don't care about this modified. If I want to see that, I'll click the image, right? I can click it and I'll get more information about the image, I guess. So I can, I can work with that if I want to, um, in my case. So I'm not going to ask for this information until I click it. I just want to see the image and even the display name somehow, maybe. So that's the only thing that's important to me. Now, with folders, the most important thing to me is to be able to see the folder name, nothing else. I only want to see the folder name. That's all I need for now. So again, when I read this, I want it to be fast. I want it to be blazing fast. So I'm only going to grab the data from Firestore that I need to show the images. So it seems that I'm going to need the file as well if I want to show the image. So we're going to have some kind of loading there of images. We'll figure that out later. But for now, let's just figure out how we can get the display name for the files and the file name, uh, folder name for the folders, for subfolders, right? Because that's all I want to show up front. So let's try and jump back to our app right here. Because right now, to get that information, I would have to go to the file to get the display name right. So that's where the display name resides right now. I don't want that. And I have to go to the subfolder right now, which means I would have to go up here to get the name of the subfolder. You see, that's a problem if I want to read really fast. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the subfolder right here is not going to be just a stupid array of strings. It's actually going to be an array of objects. And that means that now we can have the unique identifier for a subfolder. And that could be, again, the name right here. So let's just copy that name. But I could also now add the actual name of the subfolder. And that subfolder was called, I think it was spring 2017 or something. And now I have duplicate data. Oh my God. Now, that means that I have duplicate data. So notice up here, there should be the same name right here. Spring 2018, actually. So let's just put that in there instead, just to make it correct. And that means that it's a bit harder for me to write this now. Whenever I kind of want to change the name of a subfolder, it means that I have to change it here and I have to change it here. So my code have to take, has to take care of that. I have to use the Firebase functions to take care of that. So when I'm updating the name of a subfolder, I also need to update it inside the subfolders under a folder. But notice right here, the cool thing is when I read this, when I grab the subfolders, I have a unique identifier when I click it, so I can get more information later. But up front, it's just, boom, I have the data I need right away, blazing fast. Now, the other thing is the file. Right now, it could actually be enough with just this if I just want to show the image. But I, as I said, I kind of decided I want to show the image and I want to show the display name. So instead of having right now the file, it's fine with the unique identifier, but again, I want to go and edit the file here and make it into an object instead. And then I want to have the UID for the file available right here. And then I also want to have right here, I also want a way for me to show the display name. And let's just put in a great day, something like that. That would be the name that I display. There we go. I'll update this. And now this is an object instead. And I'll do the same with this guy just to kind of make them uh, in sync here. Now again, notice this is pretty hard work right now because I'm doing it manually. Of course, we need the code to do it for us again. So don't worry, we'll get back to that later. I just want to give you guys an overview about how we can do this. So again, we have a display name right here and it's going to be awesome day. I don't know, just figuring out some names right here. So there we go. Now we have the names right here and the file that we want to grab. So that pretty much means that now, again, with the files, I can only I only have to grab this document right here. And then with this folder, I have enough information to show exactly what I want to show for that specific folder without having to go and ask other collections for more information. Now, if I want more information later on, I'll just, in my actual system, click the file, and I have the unique identifier when I click it, 
to go and grab that information now from the file. And now I can consider, do I need the display name two places? Maybe the display name shouldn't be on the file actually. Maybe it's enough just to have it on the folder. So let's just remove it from here for now and also remove it from here. There we go. And now the file is just information about the actual file. And in the folder, there's more, um, an extended piece of information for each file. Now, when I need to move this file from one folder to another, I'll have to move both these information sets right here, but that's not a big thing. Again, the price here to get the fast read is to have a bit more, when I need to move things around and change things, I'll have to use a bit more time writing. But that's okay. I'm into actually having the blazing fast read and I don't care about if it takes a bit of time to update data in my database setup right here. Now there's one more thing we have to consider and that is, and we'll get back to that later with security and I might have to change that later because there might be a problem right now with setting up this securely. But I don't think it'll be a problem because the last thing I wanna do is I'm going to set the user's album right here it's going to be a unique ID on the user so he knows what the root album is for the specific user. So that's going to be a way for me to kind of control what albums you have access for. But we'll get back to that later um, as we keep working with this. But this is just a second solution and I'm going to go with option two because I just like the fast write, uh, read more than the fast write. So that was two different solutions that you guys can pick from two different database setups that you guys can pick from. Now we just need to start implementing this in the code. So see you next time where we'll start considering how we'll implement this in our code. Have fun.